Hello, and welcome to another episode of My Two Cent. My name is Paul Emerson, and I will be giving you My Two Cent. We are watching School of Thought, a series based on the philosophy of ism and their unification. Today's topic is going to be idealism. Please feel free to comment and provide feedback on this subject or any other ism in the comment section of this video. I want to talk to you about idealism and philosophy. Idealism is a complex concept, but at its core, it is a philosophy that asserts that the world as we experience it is not the true reality. Instead, it poses that reality is primarily composed of ideas and concepts that exist independent of the physical world. Idealism has a long and rich history in philosophy, with roots stretching back to ancient Greek thinkers such as Plato. But the version of idealism that I want to focus on today is a more modern iteration, one that emerges in the 18th century and reaches its peak in the 19th century. This philosophy, sometimes called absolute idealism, holds that everything that exists is an expression of the absolute or the one which is a non-dual and all-encompassing and self-sufficient entity that transcends both the physical and the mental. At the heart of absolute idealism is the idea that reality is fundamentally mentally or spiritual in nature, and that the physical world is an imperfect and incomplete manifestation of this underlying reality. According to this view, the things that we see, touch, and interact with in our daily lives are mere appearances and representations of a deeper, more fundamental reality that is composed of ideas, concepts, and mental states. One of the most famous proponents of absolute idealism was the German philosopher George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. Hegel believed that the absolute is a self-determining and self-developing entity that manifests itself in a dialectic process of thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. In this process, each stage or moment of development subjugates or incorporates the previous stage, leading to a higher and more comprehensive understanding of reality. Another important figure in the development of idealism was the Anglo-Irish philosopher George Berkeley, who developed a form of idealism known as subjective idealism. According to subjective idealism, the, the only things that can be known with certainty are mental states or perception, and the physical world is merely a collection of ideas or representations that we construct based on these perceptions. So what are the implications of idealism for our understanding of the world and our place in it? Well, one of the key implementations is, implications is that our perception and mental states play a much more critical role in our understanding of reality than we might have thought. If the physical world is just a manifestation of the deeper reality of ideas and concepts, then it stands to reason our thoughts and mental states are intimately connected to the way we experience the world. Furthermore, idealism challenges our assumption about what is real and what is not. If the physical world is just an imperfect reflection of a deeper reality, then it follows that our everyday experiences and perceptions may not be the most reliable sources of knowledge about the world. This can be a challenging idea to grapple with, but it also opens up exciting new possibilities for exploring the limits of human knowledge and understanding. Idealism as a philosophical school of thought that emphasizes the role of ideas and concepts in shaping our understanding of the world Idealism as a belief or attitude that emphasizes the importance of pursuing high ideas, moral principles, and noble goals. Idealism as a cultural or artistic movement that emphasizes the importance of imagination, creativity, and visual thinking. Idealism as a political or social theory that emphasizes the importance of pursuing an idealized vision of society, often in contrast to more pragmatic or realistic approaches. Idealism is a philosophical school of thought that poses the primary that poses the premise of ideas, thoughts, and mental construct, constructs in shaping our understanding of the world. It holds that the world we perceive is fundamentally subjective and that reality is constructed by the mind, perception, and interpretation. This thesis will explore the historical root of idealism, the key features and ideas associated with it, and the various forms it has taken through the history of philosophy. The origins of idealism can be traced back to the ancient Greek philosophers, particularly to the works of Plato, who posits that existence of a world of eternal and unchanging forms or ideas that are more real than the material world we perceive. In modern times, idealism emerges as a distinct philosophical school of thought in the wake of enlightenment, which philosophers such as Immanuel Kant, John Frederick, and George Wilhelm Frederick Hegel developed such complex systems of idea idealists through the continued idealist thought that continue to influence philosophy today. 
Idealism is often contrasted with materialism, which poses the premise of matter and the physical world. Idealists argue that the physical world is a product of the mind and that our perception of it are shaped by our mental constructs and subjective experiences. This view has important implications for metaphysics, epistemology, and ethics, as it challenges traditional assumptions about the nature of reality, the limits of human knowledge, and the source of moral, world, of moral value. In addition to in addition to its historical and theoretical dimensions, idealism has also had a profound impact on culture, art, and literature, from the romance poet, from the romantic poets of the 19th century to the modernist movement of the 20th century. Idealism has inspired artists and thinkers to explore the possibilities of imagination, creativity, and visual thinking, and visionary thinking. Overall, this overall this thesis will argue that idealism represents a rich and multifaceted philosophical tradition that has shaped our understanding of the world in profound ways, whether as a metaphysical metaphysical theory, an ethical ethical idea, or a cultural movement. Movement idealism challenges us to think critically about the nature of reality, the limits of human knowledge, and the possibility of human creativity and imagination. In conclusion, idealism is a rich and complex philosophy that changes our assumptions about the nature of reality and the roles of our perception and mental states in shaping our understanding of the world, whether we agree with its conclusion or not. It is a philosophy that forces us to question our assumptions and to look more deeply into the nature of reality. This has been School of Thought. As always, my name is Paul Emerson, and I have given you my two cents.